Yeah, me and Chris um, probably met for the first time, yeah, probably about, about five years ago. And we talked about doing an album together pretty soon on, really. Uh, the main idea to sort of try and create an album that's got all the sounds that I need in one box. I mean, I'm, main, I'm not a massive pedal user, so I, I really rely on, you know, a good guitar and a good amp um, to kind of get 90% there to my, my sound. And uh, it kind of started from there, really, and we kind of went through to get to this stage, I think, four or five prototypes. In all the years I've been doing this, I've used all sorts of things, uh, mainly, probably mainly Fenders and Marshalls. Um, I always loved the reverb on Fenders, but could never get them to break up in right way or you know to get to get an old fender like an old blackface fender to break up you've got to there's no master you've got to turn the thing up but the most incredible reverb whereas the marshals the, uh, the i always like the 70s jmp marshals but they didn't have reverb and i found i managed to find it was in switzerland probably about you know, 15 16 years ago a jmp marshall combo that had reverb and apparently this is a model that marshall made it's quite a rare one and I plugged into this Marshall and it just sat, it was the best Marshall I'd ever played. And it just had this kind of nice, really responsive overdrive, you know, it really responded well to um, the, you know, the dynamics of the playing and the volume on the guitar. So that amp was something that I used as a main part of my setup for a long time. So when we came to design an amp together, me and Chris, that we had to get very very close to that in terms of its tonality uh, and then take that as like almost like the, the starting block and then develop it from there so what we've done since then is we've added made it a lot more kind of usable because um, it's not only got with, with this Marshall JMP it's got a great overdrive tone but it doesn't do clean um, you know it's always nice to have an amp that will clean up as well so with this we, we made sure it will clean up as well so you can use it as a clean pedal platform uh, or you can have it set just so you can just you know use the volume on your guitar to add the overdrive. We brought the Marshall in. We brought. I've got a handful of old Fenders that I've had over the years. So I would bring lots of amps in, you know, we'd have days where me and Chris would just plug into them, try different things, and say, well, I really like the way this breaks up, I like the way this one compresses, I like the reverb on that one. Can we basically, basically can we get all of my favorite amps in one box? Which is quite, you know, it's quite, it's quite a tall order, really. But after, you know, a few years and uh, four or five prototypes, we got there. You know, I mean, Chris would build a prototype, I'd take it out of the road on the tour, do 30 or 40 gigs with it, and we'd, we'd talk on the phone and say, oh, tonight it sounds a bit this, or tonight it sounds a bit that, or I think we need to add a bit more of this or a bit more of that. So when it came to spending the time actually dialing it in, Chris would have it on the bench with his soldering iron at the ready and a box of components, and I'd have my guitar plugged in, and I'd play it, and I'd say, right, can we make it a bit more uh, it's, it's, it's compressing too much, or it's, now I need a bit more headroom, or the low end's breaking up too much. So it was, yeah, it's kind of a backwards and forwards process over a couple of years. But uh, but essentially, what we arrived at is, for me at least, all the cool elements of all my favourite amps in one box. So that yeah, it, everything's kind of there. circuit apparently I mean I don't really understand all this because I just play the thing but the reverb circuit is quite an unusual it's not a, a typical design and we really kind of just just dialed it in from I would play a bit and say make it a bit more this make it a bit more that we try no that's too much let's go halfway between and I don't know what Chris did but we managed to get there and it was literally just me using my my ears I suppose in terms of what I was hearing in my head um, 
or listening to an amp say, well, the reverb on that sounds great, but it's a bit too splashy, or the reverb on this one's good, but it, the tail off is too short, and just just trial and error, really. I think there's a certain element of, you know, there's going to be this tried and tested stuff that, you know, is known to work, and then there's a certain element of just experimenting, really. Um, so, yeah, the reverb on this is apparently not a Fender circuit or a Marshall, I don't know what it is, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's a rift circuit. <laughs> Definitely loud enough for any situation. Um, I run it. I normally run it on about two and a half or three on the master volume, and that is definitely loud enough. And I can get everything I need. You get enough of the power amp kicking in. So we've we've got preamp, uh, master, treble, middle, bass, presence, and reverb at the end. Uh, just a single input. Um, a lot of these old amps have high and low. Did any? You know, What's the point of a low input? I never really understood, I've never used it in all the years I've played guitar, I've never plugged into a low input and thought it sounded usable. So we just went with the one input. Um, on the back, we've got uh, an effects loop, which has got a level control on it. The amp is available, as you see here, uh, which is a head and 2B12 cab. You can have it with a 1B12 cab and a head. There's a 2B12 combo and a 1B12 combo. Uh, all variations of this, they're all running with Eminence Governor speakers, which are speakers I've used probably for the last five or six years, and they're great. I like the tone of them, the way they break up the headroom. Uh, they're bomb-proof. I've never blown one up. So <laughs> that's got to be a good thing. And um, the valves in the amp, the amp, the power section of the amp is EL34s with um, various different... 